Yes. All right. Where is the signal? Uh, my stick. I don't have any stick. Oh, there it is. Right here? Jesus. I don't know. Oh, there it is. <laughs> so. What's up, guys? How's things doing, bros? So, I ate a whole baggie of these Delta 8 gummies. And then I had one of these, too, which is a Delta 8 2,000 milligram, but it's it's like 65 milligram each, so I had a little more than 750 plus 65. Yeah. How are you, Joe? Moto Wi-Fi, I will be fine! Yes, my husband. Can I see the conspiracy ballot? Yeah. I just want to do something. Like, make a phone. How are you, my people? How are you? I'm alive. Dude. I'm alive. I can see you all around me. Filtering the air that I'm breathing. Holding on to what I'm feeling. Sorry. What's up? Spicy pepperoni, spicy pepperoni, 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 spicy pepperoni, 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 pepperoni. I'm feeling like musicals. I had those gummies about like an hour ago, by the way. I'm just gonna be honest. You like the color? Aw, oh, thanks, man. I like this color too. It reminds me of an anime character. What's up, Adam? How are you, sir? I love you guys, man. I love you guys. I'm just, like, living the life right now, man. Oh, I got these, by the way. These Delta 8 gummies. They're only, like, 100 milligrams in the package. But they also have 10 milligrams of CBD in them. Oh, my God. It's such a pain reliever. Later, Joe. I'm better than I was yesterday. Thanks for asking. What happened to you yesterday, bro? What happened to you yesterday? Like yesterday, after my stream, G-Man came to the house, man, and we had a good time. Yeah. We were talking about girls with each other. Take care, Joe. Take care. Who you? Life is good, man. Life is good. You know, they're gonna triangulate what, what room she is oh. from that angle. The trolls on freaking Kiwi Farms, they're gonna know exactly what room she's at Foodie Beauty? because of that angle. Foodie Beauty? Mm -hmm. Really? No. They I know, guarantee it. They know her whole apartment? No. no, where she is now. She's at a hotel. Oh, she's at a hotel. Yeah. yeah they'll triangulate it. They'll triangulate it. Yeah, you're right. I know it. They're that psychotic. Are they gonna send a bunch of like treat screens to her? I don't know, oh, man. They may be like, she's smoking pot in the room, man. I have video of it. Look. You bastards. You narcs. We got Foodie Beauty on. My plantar fasciitis flared up because of working a nine-hour shift in my hiking boots. You poor thing, man. I'm so sorry. I know how that is to have a long shift and your feet feel like they're about to, like, fall off. I can't do that anymore because if I'm on my feet more than, like, two hours, I start, like, swelling up really bad. Like, severely. All I can say is, like, my feet just get so smooshy after that. Like, it sucks being, like, disabled. Dr. Scholes? Dr. Scholes doesn't always work when you have disabilities and you have and you have like arthritis and you know you've had broken bones you know i broke a lot of bones in my life and i've sprained a lot of parts of my body i'm beat up man i'm beat up this would be my wrestling makeup definitely please don't like i'm done okay I'm done i only use one color and just a little bit of my finger that's it okay that's a great palette man Smurfette, love it. Thank you. Smurfette, yeah, you look hot. Yeah, Smurfette. The Dr. Scholes doesn't last very long relief-wise. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. Good morning, King Mongoose. How are you? I am having a very good day, man. I feel amazing. It's a good day to be a lab, sir. To be your cult goddess, I mean, it's always a good day. Plus, I had my hiking boots on because of the snow from that big storm. Had to dig my car out, pick up a coworker. Crazy, but long night. Adam, just chill out now. You and me, oh. we can chill stream together, and I'll make you feel like, man, you, your day is like, just put your feet up, man. Oh. You know, if I was your girl, I'd rub your feet. Mm. <laughs> yeah, dude. Can we see the makeup? It's right here. Like, hmm. I thought you looked good in the pink wig, but you look good in the blue one, too. It must be your blue eyes. Dude. That's it. I can do every color. I, I'm a rainbow. 
or a chameleon, however you want to, you know, chameleon, yeah. different look hot, every day. It's nice, man. I'm like Lady Gaga. Yeah. Like whatever I feel like I do. You meant Jason's makeup. Oh, oh yeah. Let me put him on here. On yeah, here, right. sexy man. Raven's a legitimate kid. That's my makeup, definitely, as a pro wrestler. Oh God, let's not talk about wrestling. No, we won't. Oh, thank God. We won't. I'm just saying that. Okay. Look at my eyes. It's like what the fuck. <laughs> Make you feel like dancing popped in my head, bros. Where's the cigarette? Oh my God. Don't. Oh my God, me. Hang on a second. Where'd they go? Here they are. There. You're my reverend. I got you. I'm here. I love you. You're a great individual. You want to read the Bible? We can read the Bible. That would be fun. Reading the Bible. You have to read the Bible when you're super freaking ripped. That's some trippy shit, man. Laugh Out Loud was watching a show the other day talking about lizard people and wondering how can we tell if we're lizard people. What I tried hell? eating fried crickets and stuff from Hot Topic. Wow. Dude, I have eaten fried crickets and I've eaten mealworms. Mealworms. And I've had, I've, I've had uh, grasshoppers. I like bugs. I think they taste good. And they're a good source of protein. Don't knock it until you try it. Mealworms taste like popcorn. They're delicious. Nope. And they're, you know, in, in places, that's just something to eat for a snack, man. That's like their Doritos. Oh my gosh. Give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. Lizard people? Yeah, man, the Anunnaki. Hey, Shani, do you think that Omar might want to collab with us if we do the, the content stuff? Dude, that would be awesome. Let's collab with Omar. Oh, give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. <clears throat> oh, my God. Shirt. Omar Gosh TV. Great shirt. I love Omar. He's a, he's a believer. I had to ask him about my lungs. That was crazy shit. Wow. Nice. What were we going to do? <laughs> You're playing a game. No. We're talking. Yeah, and my, uh... The Bible, yeah. We're going Bible. You need a Bible? I have my Bible right yeah, here. Black on my eyebrows. That's not right. That's Whoa. Not right. 37 on Jeremiah, bro. Jeremiah 37. Yeah, I'll, dude. I'll, 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 he had me read 33. 33, 37. It's Mark 2. Look at that. Got a fold. Mark, Mark 2. Bro. All right, let's read chapter 37. All right. Jeremiah, man. They're like different ship flavors. I know. They're good, aren't they? They are, man. Yeah. yeah. Like, don't knock it until you try it. It's good shit. It's good shit. All right. And King Zedekiah, can you put her down? Yeah. Missing move. She's having fupa issues. I'm a professional CM, that's how. I am a professional. Bro. I. Am. A professional. I got this shit, man. <laughs> Alright. And King Zedekiah, the son of Josiah, reigned instead of Kaniah, the son of Jehoiakim, whom Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, made king in the land of Judah. But neither he nor his servants nor the people of the land did hearken unto the words of the Lord, which he spake by the prophet Jeremiah. And Zedekiah the king said, Jehu called son of Shelemiah and Zephaniah, the son of Messiah, and the priest to the prophet Jeremiah, saying, Pray now unto the Lord our God for us. Now Jeremiah came and went out among the people, for they had not put him into prison, not yet. All prophets eventually go to jail some way, shape, or form. We have to experience the jail life for some reason. Jessica Rabbit, Lizard People is an Alex Jones NWO and idea peppered with some ancient alien astronaut sprinklings. It's a good description. Is Bill Paxton a Canadian? But Vladimir Rasputin, you completely, like, forgot about David Icke. <laughs> and Stitchin. They talk about Lizard People too, man. And Anunnaki. Yeah. The shit's a hoory. Jenny. That's what Cradle Muslim tells him. Why Jesus people. changing people's name, like Simon, to Peter? Because Peter needs the rock. He had to name him. Little rename rock, him Petra, to, to, you know, make his, like, godly, like, <laughs> magic and shit. Russian green. Alright, that's a great song. I love Boney M. Can either of you French braid? I think red would look good with a French braid, roughly like the Vikings would braid their hair. Yeah, I can. Yes. You're welcome, CM. Go listen to Boney M. Rasputin. Anyway, where were we? Then Pharaoh's army was come forth out of Egypt when the Chaldeans that besieged Jerusalem heard tidings of them. They departed from Jerusalem. Then came the word of the Lord unto the prophet Jeremiah, saying, Thus saith the Lord, the God of Israel, thus shall ye say to the king of Judah that sent you unto me to inquire of me, Behold, Pharaoh's army which is come forth to help you shall return to Egypt into their land. And the Chaldeans shall come again and fight against the city. Take it and burn it with fire. Thus saith the Lord, Deceive not yourselves, saying, The Chaldeans shall surely depart from us, for they shall not depart. For though we have smitten the whole army of the Chaldeans to fight against you, and there remain you wounded men among them, yet should they rise up every man in his tent and burn this city with fire. fire. And it came to pass that when the army of the Chaldeans was broke up from Jerusalem for the fear of Pharaoh's army, then Jeremiah went forth out of Jerusalem to go into the land of Benjamin, right. to separate himself thus in the midst of the people. And when he was in the gate of Benjamin, a captain of the word was there, whose name was Irajah, the son of Shalamiah, the son of Hananiah, and he took Jeremiah the prophet, saying, Thou fallest away to the Chaldeans. Wait a minute. What? A man of the words? 
Mm -hmm. Who's a man of the words? Like a politician or a, or a lawyer? I have no idea. A lawyer, maybe. A man of the words. Somebody that would defend you in court. What do I think of the Mandela effect? Bullshit. Bro. It's mostly bullshit. It's just things you misremember, man. You thought it was one way because you hear it all that time, the time that way, but it's what people made it. It's not the actual quote or the actual title of something. Ref didn't fight, did indeed get in a fight with a fireplace, man. Uh -huh. we were like, we had like this ghost issue, man, and he he was like absorbing the like fireplace. So Rev went in the fireplace no. to go and like cast it out, and 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 yeah, that's what happened to his face, man. Sure, okay, nope. Do you guys, do you guys ever listen to black metal, like black metal uh, guitar, like the band members? A lot of the times, this is their makeup. It, this is like old school pagan makeup. Do you get that? It's old school pagan makeup. This is how I would look if I lived in the woods in Ireland, in, you know, near London, you know, in that same foot area. This is how he looks on Skyrim. If I lived in that universe, yeah. This would be my makeup I put on every day, which is just smeared charcoal. That's what it would be back in the day. You take charcoal, you muddle it, right? And you put it in water and you would make a chalk and you would just smear it like that. That'd be my paint, you know? You go to the bar like this and you pick up a young glass, you know, and ravage her. You want to ravage me? Sure. Definitely. I did last night. I he did. I, I like Mongolian beer, you pussy, you know? If you have to go somewhere today, like the store, would you go looking like that? Yeah, definitely. They wouldn't care. Not Izzy. Oh but. my god, Zipply Krista, how are you? Krista's pretty, too. She'd look good in, like, pagan goth makeup. Yeah, she's, Krista she's is pretty. a wonderful person. She's pretty, too. But anyway, this is what... Okay, you know I'm right, right? Yes. This is what I would look like if I was I was doing a, a mass as a high priest. Have a coven. I don't care. It's um, a representation of a priesthood of a sense. I'm trying to read the Bible. Back at the point. The word gets precedence over my word, so go. You know, I was just explaining it. It's like baby. It's pagan makeup. He has to go to the store today. I do. Or do you get coffee? I do the coffee thing. Oh yeah, I have to get drinks. I can go to the store. Whatever you want to do. I, we could do coffee. No, I don't like making it. It's a pain in the butt because we don't have filters because we're too yeah. poor. We use paper towels. We use paper towels for our filters for the coffee maker because we're too poor. If you want to bless her, it's right down there. Uh, we have no cash for coffee filters. So if you want to provide some cash for coffee filters, I would get coffee filters and I'd make coffee all day. Okay. Because when you have a filter, it percolates correctly. Do you get it? Yes. Okay. Let's read the word though. Then said Jeremiah, it is false. I fall not away to the Chaldeans, but he hearkened not to him. So Aranjah took Jeremiah and brought him to the princes. Wherefore, the princes were wroth with Jeremiah and smote him and put him in prison in the house of Jonathan the scribe, for they had made that the prison. Wow, he got thrown into prison for being like, I'm not going to compromise. When Jeremiah was entered into the dungeon and into the cabins, and Jeremiah had remained there many days, then Zedekiah the king sent and took him out, and the king asked him secretly in his house and said, Is there any word from the Lord? And Jeremiah said, There is, for said he, Thou shalt be delivered into the hand of king of Babylon. Oh, that's it. Moreover, Jeremiah said unto king Zedekiah, What have I offended thee against, or against thy servants, or against this people, that ye have put me in prison? Where now your prophets, which prophesied unto you, saying, The king of Babylon shall not come against you, nor against this land? Therefore hear now, I pray thee, O my lord the king, let my supplication, I pray thee, be accepted before thee, that thou cause me not to return to the house of Jonathan the scribe, lest I die there. Then Zedekiah the king commanded that they should commit Jeremiah into the court of the prison that should give him daily a piece of bread out of the baker's street until all the bread in the city were spent. Thus, Jeremiah remained in the court of the prison. They put him in jail. Yeah. That's Charlie Manson. You get it? You dig? I dig. That's Charlie Manson. They just throw him in jail, the prophets, because they can't handle words. They just throw him in jail. It's too offensive. I'm offended. Yeah, you're offended because you're convicted by God. Do you get that? You, you, you tell them, baby. The prophets were persecuted and hated because they put the word of the Lord in the people's ears. And 99% of the time, if you were hearing from a prophet, God was saying, you're not doing it right. You're fucking up. Okay? And when my son comes, you're going to miss him. You're all waiting for the Messiah, the Mashiach, the, the root of David, but be the root, Jesse's Jesse's root, uh, the seed of David, which was Jesus. They missed him because he was. They were not in the will of God. They were in pagan rule with Rome through the Sanhedrin. The Sanhedrin were Romans. Their king was Caesar, not God. Get it? They perverted everything. So Jesus said, "You're all fucking whitewashed assholes. You, you're dead. You're fucking dead." He told the Sanhedrin, who was the law of Israel, that they were dead inside, dead bones, that they had no authority. They killed him. That's it. They had no authority to kill him too. None, zero. Okay. The only entity that could execute were the Romans. And Pilate never really gave, he washed his hands of it. Do you know what that means? He was saying, this guy is innocent and I have nothing to do with this. I'm not doing this to him, you are. You condemned him to death. You take the Nazarene and you do what you will with him. They fucking crucified him. Now they use the Romans to do it because the Romans were good at crucifying, okay? They would have stoned Yeshua uh, back in the day of the old Mosaic days. If he was claiming to be God and it was blasphemy, they'd stone him. That isn't how they did it. They wanted to crucify the motherfucker because it's one of the worst ways to fucking die. It's suffocation on your lungs by, by your own body weight, okay? That's pain, all right? And he did that, he knew what would happen. He had probably had visions of his own crucifixion like Xena, if you know the show Xena, which me and Shani love. And, and Shani convinced me is the greatest show of all time, Xena. You'll notice that she has premonitions through her her whole existence after meeting Gabrielle because Gabrielle's her soulmate. Uh, they're crucified together, okay, by Caesar. She has premonitions of this years and years and years and years and years and we don't even know how long before it happens. She has premonitions. So God, Jesus probably had the same thing. He knew he'd be on the cross praying for people, souls, that they would make it on the cross. At that, he knew it would happen because he, he knew he was having visions so like probably, okay. So now he just preached the good news that the sacrifice was made because he was it, the branch, the root of David, the, the Jesse, the root of Jesse and the seed of David. These are titles of the Messiah. That's that always, see the Jews want to now delete that they were waiting for a Mashiach. But even today, they've said that Trump is probably the Messiah. What? You're fucking out of your mind, okay? Like Trump can lead a country, but he is not a Messiah. All right, he's not a clean man, regardless. 
Mm. You like this look? You like the the black metal, the smeared black? You like it? Mm. Ooh, you're hot. You, I love the blue hair. I want you to do your real hair blue, and and G-Man will get you the, the guy. Anyway, I'll wrap it up. You, you're done with the scripture, but uh, what you have to understand about Jesus is that he was telling the leadership that they were done, that they were fools, and dead. And they were trying to shut the door to heaven to people that would make it in and they would make it. Do you get it? Jesus was saying that you're frauds, you're fucking scammers. And that's why they put him on trial to kill him. Because his, their power was going to go away. Because the people were, were looking to Yeshua and not the Sanhedrin for their words, for their beliefs. They were looking to Yeshua instead. Now if Caiaphas could have said, okay, he's the Messiah. I'm going to crown him king of Israel right now because he's the Messiah, he's the leadership right now. If that happened, history would have changed. It would have been a completely different story, okay? But that's, it wasn't meant to be that because Jesus was not to be crowned king until the fullness of the Gentiles came into the church, which was the mystery. That the entire Jewish thing would be open to Gentiles. That was the mystery of God. That a pagan, Irish, British guy like me, my family, would know of Jesus. That's crazy. Why would, why would Britons, people from ancient Albion, how the fuck would we know the Messiah that was coming out of, of Israel, Jerusalem, Bethlehem, Nazareth? What the fuck? How can we know this? Because it's, it's, the, it's the way that God does stuff. It's through the nations. And then your life is a testimony to Yeshua, and it can be a bad or good one. And most peoples are just mixed. <laughs> yeah, times you mess up. Pretty bad. Okay. And then you have instances of individuals like Shani that have just been persecuted for the sake of her uh, turning to belief because she was an atheist. And then she came out in a big way as a believer and a truther and a lot of different stuff. And I believe that that gained her gang stalkers that are Satanists. And they want to take her kids and all this crazy shit. But she's a good woman that believes very strongly in Christ and all this, you know. Uh, it's slander by Satanists. What is this crap? <laughs> Vladimir Rasputin. <coughs> Diet Pope Trump. Just for the taste of it, Diet Trump. And then a crap can of it. You, take a you know, usually piece. people who are around crap tend to um, flush the toilet and get away from said crap instead of just lingering in said crap. Yeah. Maybe this channel isn't for you, bro. Yeah, I don't think you want to wait in shit. My speech? No, it's not a speech. I was Ooh. just discussing things. I'm just discussing certain things. It doesn't have to always be an argument. Well, that, yeah, I work with crap daily. Crap. Understandable spicy pepperoni. Yeah, feces, sure. Yeah, man. Zombie creature, sure. Dog poo is probably the smelliest. See, but the way I look would not be... That is pretty gross, mongoose. See, but the way I look wouldn't be strange at all if the time frame were correct. If we lived in the Middle Ages, and I was living in my family's homeland, which is Britannia, I'd look like this. But I still could still be a preacher. I'm an ordained reverend now, by the way. I have a certificate, okay, from American Ministries. I'm now a reverend. I'm ordained. I can marry people. I'm an ordained reverend. Which is cool. I like that. Mm. It's pretty neat. Mm. Oh. Ooh. You're my high priestess, see? Mm. <clears throat> Shani's the high priestess mm. of this operation that we got. Mm. Right? Right. Do you want to be my priestess? We got it. She's the priestess. I'm the priest. And we got this thing going. It's pretty great. But yeah, her her, her lip color shade a la Jeffree Star is pussy lips. Okay? You get it? If you study the color of her lips, they resemble a, a pussy lip. Okay? That's hot. <laughs> Definitely makes me want to eat out. Brad, when is my damn wrestling show going to happen? Then? Black Poodle. Well, it's scheduled for February 9th. Do you see the show page? Because it's available. Set your reminder, it's February 9th, Wednesday, at 8 p.m. Eastern. Mind bend up, G-Man, myself, we're going to be discussing the greats of wrestling, retro. Not the new shit, unless G-Man wants to talk about CM Punk, because he's new to me, okay? I got out of wrestling, so CM Punk is like somebody I didn't watch. But, uh, if he wants to talk about new stuff, he can talk about it. I know nothing about the new shit, so. And I'm going to start watching AEW, because it's a, a while. Ah, amazing. I like AEW stuff. It looks cool. So. Legit, bro, if you want a cigarette? Sure, man. The ashtray, folks. Up my coo- Oh, right here. That's amazing. How, how could you put that? In, in my ass. <laughs> what am I doing? Having fun, man. I'm going insane. Hmm. Darling, I don't know why I go to extremes. Too high or too low, there ain't no in-betweens. You should be sure when I'm gone, I won't be out there too long. Darling, I don't know why I go to extremes. That's Billy Joel, the great Billy Joel. I'm a big fan. Yep, I like Billy Joel a lot. See, I like Michael Bolton. People like freaking like it. You like, sorry. Jesus. That's a deleted word. Sorry, I didn't say that. I apologize straight up. You are whatever. You're not manly because you're listening to Michael Bolton. I like Michael Bolton songs. If you love them, at least, you know, I do. Uh, Jason, I swear to God, I will cut your tongue out. Yeah, I, I'm sorry about that F word. That word is deleted. I didn't say it. Sorry, the censor got it. Okay. I sucked it up. Sorry. When you feel like you're with a friend and you're talking, you know, but it's a show. You got to be proper. Be professional. I wasn't proper. I apologize for that word. Okay. Because I have none of that bigotry, okay? It's just something you grow up with, and you know what I mean? It's stupid kid stuff. It's immature, you know? But but you listen to Michael Bolton, that's really whatever. I like Michael Bolton, you know? Michael McDonald. Like Michael McDonald. Yeah. I enjoy good male vocalists, Freddie Mercury. But that's Queen, and that's cool. You know, it's cool to like Queen, okay? <laughs> yeah. Here you go. And, and, and at that moment, Shani tries with all her borderline strength 
not to carve out. Yeah. Sure. It's like, I don't understand this with men. It's like, you have to, you have to say what bothers you over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. No, you can cut it because, you know what I mean? You can cut it out. But it's, it, it was just because it was a slip of tongue. Was... Rev needs to go and, 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 and take said shovel and bury himself in a, a 20 foot, you know, pit. Wow. Yes. Well, she wants me dead, folks. You, you need to learn self-control for the Lord Jesus Christ's sake. Yeah, you're right. Panda cosplay. You could say that. I love pandas. And, 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 and sir. Sorry. I sincerely am apologizing. I didn't mean it like that. It's kid stuff. It's uh, Yeah, sorry. Uh, I said I'm sorry. Is that okay? Freddy, you are correct. He needs sensitivity training. What does that mean? Communist. Think. Uh, thought, please. Everyone takes sensitivity training. What is sensitivity training? You, you learn what words not to use. I know not to use. And what behaviors not to do. I know to not use that word. It was a slip of tongue and I apologize. That's what I'm saying. That's a word that I tried to delete from my vocabulary with the with, the, with that other word. That too. I mean that. I don't like the words. They're crappy words to me because they, they really hurt people deeply. So I don't want to use a word like that ever. So I'm sorry, okay? It's from my past being a kid. Because these words meant a lot less then. Do you get what I'm saying? They were they meant a lot less. They mean a lot more now. It's not BBW. Hi, B we love you. Latina J, we love you. Like, a lot. Is that Lady Bulger in the chat? No. White Bunny Rogue, you're creeping apparently on her Instagram. Nope, I don't have an Instagram, ma'am. Why would you lie? Okay, you're going to try and break up me and my wife. I don't have an Instagram that got banned. Now it's probably a fake me, because there's plenty of fake me's out there now. I need a lawyer. Hi, BBW, beautiful woman. Okay, I need Nancy. I think... Nancy. I think I got a G-Man text. You got a G-Man text? Yeah. He's a great brother and we love him. You know, he's an insanely amazing person. No. That's really trying to help us big time. You know, he's doing a lot for us. Oh, Bella, amigo. Wait, yeah, <laughs> hola, Bella, amigo. I believe you're, you're a beautiful sister, you know? You preach very good. I'd love you to hear you read the Bible more. You're awesome. Hey, Johnny, what's up, man? Showing Georgia was great. The other ref was on pills and they fired him. I did the entire show by myself last night. Holy crap. That's so, an awesome responsibility you had. Yeah, good job. I mean, that's really awesome. Hey, Johnny, you have an invitation. If you want to be on our show, the Revelation Wrestling debut show is Wednesday, February 4th at 8 p.m. If you want to be on the show as a guest, too, you can be with me. Uh, we'll do the hookup. You can email me at jasonegroff2020 at gmail.com. That's my email, my current email. And we'll hook it up and we'll have you on the show. Okay, February 9th, 8 p.m. Eastern. Okay. You feeling better, BBW? Is she all right? She had COVID. Holy, she had COVID. Oh my God, that sucks. You feeling better? Let's be. Dude, you sit down? down, bro. Okay, got Facebook. Yeah, that's awesome. You can email me too. We'll do it on Facebook that day. We'll connect on Facebook and you can just be in the background and we'll all talk. It's really cool, man. That was fun last night. Huh? Me what and was, you. Yeah, that was really good. Like, yeah. I'm not angry today. I'm good. I'm good. It, a lot of it has to do with bipolar disorder. I'm going to be medicated all the time, so. Hell yeah. We'll make it happen. See, this show's going to be crazy. We are, okay. Dan Badandi's going to be on it too. It's going to be great. Yeah, Dan Badandi yep. agreed to go on his show. Yep, he's coming on. We're going to have a talk. I'm going to even do a show with him, a biographer show uh, on his life, because he has lots of stories. He's awesome. Patriotic brother. And, uh, love the show. He's fun. He's a great guy. Family man. Hi, Got Queen. How are you? Dedicated to his family. Am I feeling better? My knee is still swollen. Yeah. I still have the drippy nose. No, it's not too small at all. We worked it. Wow. Oh, God. I'm going to, yeah, like, bye, you're bye. being disrespectful. Yeah, it's over. We're not doing it. Wrestling show's going to be it, Rev. You know what? Yep. I think we're going to be good. We're not going to talk about that, though. We're talking about Shani's channel and, and issues that Shani wants to talk about. It's her show. Right? Yeah, man. It's a Shani show. Bros. We love it. Turn it to your cult leader, man. You're supposed to be worshiping me here. My cold's a lot better. Yeah, I'm feeling a lot better. I'm getting more strength. Yeah. And what, what helped it a lot? Oh, was I was down and out last night, though, man. What helped it a lot was food because uh, I believe that my body needed fuel to fight what was in there. So the orange juice and, and food helped. That's it, true. It gave me strength to push it out, get the hell out of his body. You know what I'm saying? That's true, so man. So I'm doing a lot better. Thank you for asking. Do you want me to go for drinks now? Do you want to go for yeah, drinks? Yeah, i drinks now because it's better to not wait. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, dude. Waiting is bullshit. Got that? You want the cigarettes here? You want a cigarette? Just go to convenient, baby. What? No, oh. I'm gonna get 12 packs. Okay. Hopefully they got them on sale, so I get four. All right, drive carefully. I'll drive very carefully. The weather it's, is kind of shitty. But it's fun. Everything's fine. Okay. Okay. It's like not really bad anymore. Well, I mean, it's kind of cold outside. Well, it's cold, but it's not like I'm gonna die. I want you to be okay. I'm gonna be fine. I mean, Jesus Christ protect you. Well, you want me to pray? That's what I need. I need that protection. Don't you know? I need that. I mean, it's not that cold. It's 25. Well, yeah, but things are thawed out a lot, and there's not much to left. Oh my God. Okay. There was a little bit of a thaw. So it's not like it was. It was really bad. Over dude, there. I had sandwiches last night, dude. Sandwiches. I did, and yeah, Rev had a sandwich bag. too. Here's we had bag. sandwiches for dinner. I love sandwiches. Trump. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. All right, I need the card. Sandwiches are delicious. You love the convenient sandwiches. I do. Yeah, I'd be happy with that and like a, a no, couple of I know of that. Customers. No, I want it. You need food too? You want me to get you subs? You want a sub? I think going to the convenience is the best. But I want to get 12 packs of soda. I don't we'll like do that it. tomorrow though. Oh we have things to do tomorrow. So you want me to get you two subs? You want a couple subs? Yeah. Italian? Yeah. Okay. And just get a few drinks. We'll be okay. Okay. Right. What are we cooking tonight? Oh God. 
I haven't decided yet. Like, we got pizza, because pizza always rocks. It's like the best thing in the world to eat. And then we got pasta. I'll figure it out. Yum. <sighs> My God. Hi Trish, how are you? You beautiful Irish woman. I very much love you. You're from the wonderful Isle. I will soon enough. I want to get my kitchen put together first. Give me time. I'm just starting to re rebuild. I can't wait for the spring garden and streams. Oh my god, man. I'm like totally into that. I'm looking forward to that, making some garden streams. Yes, reorganizing the kitchen is where to go, man. I know I'll be successful at the cooking show. Gardening would be great. I love it. Get those tomatoes going and some green peppers. And then my Italian herbs that I like to grow. I love gardening. I can't wait till it starts getting warm out. No, it's okay, Jessica. I ain't doing that. Use your veggies to make sauce. Oh, yeah. That'd be so yummy. And if I did have a garden, I definitely would want some like potatoes and um and uh, onions. Definitely ginger and horseradish. Get some tubers. Ooh, parsnips. Mm -hmm. I think everyone's waiting for spring right now. Oh, I love habaneros. Like, even though they're hot, they have this beautiful fruity flavor. That is true, Debbie. I grow my little babies. I need a grow lamp. That's definitely what I would need. If I was growing some herbs inside, I would need a grow lamp. Oh, Jessica, may Jesus Christ bless your garden this year. Hi, Isabel. Welcome. Welcome to my cult. With my fellow cultists. Yeah, keep trying and trying and trying. You'll get it. You'll get it eventually. Just talk to your plants. Talking to them is the best way to go. And make sure you get, like, the proper equipment to, like, bury your seeds. Like, you want to sprout your seeds first before you bury them in the ground and you got to make sure your soil isn't acidic so you got to measure that over the good burger because if your ground is too acidic over the good burger thank you yeah, take your order. If, the, if the ground is too acidic this is this is what's so bad if your ground's too acidic the plants won't grow so you gotta you gotta make sure like you have fresh soil that. and you know make sure you lay some manure down because yeah. they need that I see the that is correct grow lamps are not too pricey grow lamps. thank you isabel no, man, they're awesome. Red. Red. Sounds delicious, Krista. Yeah, try corn. Corn's gorgeous. Yeah. Get some nice sweet corn. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. La, 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 la. Sorry. I'm like in my head right now. you've ever been too much in your head because you have no one to talk to it's trippy man like you always need someone to talk to oh get that garlic bread girl garlic bread is delicious true story oh my God. <laughs> I stick to my safe foods yeah man I'm just eating the way I need to eat right now man I'm just surviving bros you're talking to a silly. I'm having lobster tonight. Oh. Mm. Booge it up, Elemental. Booge it up. I love you. I'm going to be having lobster soon. You're coming with homemade mac and cheese. Oh my god. 
Me? I'm so weird lately. I'm just enjoying sandwiches. <laughs> lobster is a no for me. Oh, uh, why? What is it about lobster you don't like? <gasps> they have this beautiful lobster mac and cheese at the Bonefish Grill, so if you ever go to the Bone for Fish Grill, try their lobster mac and cheese. It's amazing. <laughs> it's been a long time. I get so bored of sandwiches. I'm not, though. I can tear into some pimento cheese. Freddy, I can tear into some pimento cheese, too. Pimento cheese is yum. I eat Lunchable with large ice cream, co iced coffee, and goldfish crackers, and ramen. Oh, but I love cheese pizza, and I love Hot Pot, too. <laughs> Baby farm. <laughs> I eat one, like, once a month. <laughs> what? what? I made a new avatar and a new uh, upper third thing. I have a feeling about this. I think it's gonna go somewhere. All right, baby. It's gonna be good. I have a feeling. There's this lady on YouTube who makes 20 meals out of 30 bucks. Yeah, but is it good? <laughs> you guys are trying to give me the munchies, man, you little feeders. Never had lobster. Is it nice? It's delicious. Well, I like, I don't know. It depends on the person. You either love it or hate it. Lobster is pretty delicious, in my opinion. Yeah, I, agree. I also enjoy raw oysters. That's an aphrodisiac, by the way. Baby Bear Farms Lunchables are amazing. You you should have no no shame in eating the delicious Lunchable at all. I love Lunchables. That's a band I miss, man. Cedar, I like them. Cedar. I like Cedar a lot, actually. Yeah, they're good. I like them a lot. Mm. They're all talking about lobster. Yum. Mm. We're gonna be having lobster soon. I think we are actually. It's gonna be awesome. It's triggering. Oh. I th I think it's planned. It's planned to be live streamed, where we're eating lobster soon. Yep. Oh, I'm so sorry, baby bear farms. I understand. I have to limit my diet lately. Like, I can't eat nowhere near what I used to anymore. You know? Like, I love my little Debbies because they don't bother me, but a lot of things now bother the f*** out of me. Stomach. Yeah, my stomach. Like, pasta. I, I have to be careful with pasta sauce. That always gives me heartburn. Me too. Yeah. I love Crab King is best, but buttery snow is great. Even Dungeness and Blue Crab is fire also. Bubby. True. I try to fast as much as possible. Bro. I pretty much do, like, fasten a lot of times, too, though. A lot of times, I do not want to eat. I just want to, like, get through the day. Like, I eat, like, once a day, usually. Little Debbie's are all sugar. Hey. But it doesn't give me heartburn. Hey, babe. Yeah. You have an imaginary girl, like... Imaginary girl? Yeah, look what she said. What's she saying? I'm sure you would hear Rev saying my name in his sleep if he had a name to call me. Yeah. Doesn't that suck, Shani? I know it? you can still see me, too. Let's see. Huh. White bunny robe? Well, uh, your face is not familiar to me. I'm sorry. Uh, there's a lot of girls that send me messages, though. Like, try, yeah. trying to... Play. Play. You know what I mean? Play. <laughs> Why would a white bunny be red? <laughs> <laughs> well, she means, like, rogue agent. Chocolate can give you heartburn. Jesus Christ. Okay, I think you should ban this individual because they're causing you want me to ban. Yeah, man. I was just listening to the Cedar Man, whatever it is. I don't want any trouble. Jesus Christ. Like, I don't know you. Oh, it's that freak girl. Oh, that wolf chick? The half shaved chick. The wolf head chick. Yeah. Wolf, wolf, whatever. Yeah, that weirdo. Okay, no. God, she she says she admitted that, that she's into breaking up marriages, but she's married herself. That's weird, man. Yeah. Ha 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 ha. She thinks she's French. White, bad, white, white, white rabbit, white, white bunny rouge? No, rogue, I think. Or maybe rouge. I don't know. Who cares? That's Timberwolf. 
She has 15 million fucking sock accounts and she likes to break up marriages. It gets her off. And she's married. And then she laughs. It's so weird. That's bizarre, man. Like, it's really strange. Important being fat, 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 yeah. fat shaming other girls for being fat. Yeah, she's not skinny at all. I, I don't know. Whatever. Whatever. I got laid last night, so. Oh, that was nice, too. That was real good. Like, this chick. I don't... That's correct, Trista. Yeah. Like, this chick. Hey, what's up, wise guy? I don't know, dude. This girl, okay? If she thinks I'm into her because I like goth chicks. No, I'm not into you, ma'am. Like, you shaved your head off. It's weird. It looks bad. Like, you're going cyberpunk shit. That's okay and everything, but holy fuck, man. I'm not into it, okay? I don't like you. Like, I'll just be honest. So if that's what it is, like you want in the pants situation, I'm just not into it, okay? Like if you want to be Shanny's friend, because when you're normal, you seem nice. If you want to be your friend, that's cool. Yeah. But I'm not down, dude. I'm just not, okay? Like I love Shanny. And she might call that my only face with somebody in the future, but that, that's business, okay? Like I'm in love with her, okay? She's my girls. I really love Shanny a lot, you know? That's it, I, did you hear that? Yes. I state that again for everybody, that like I'm in love with her. Like she's my, my queen, okay? So anything else would be business, you know what I mean? Like if you hooked up and I was involved with an OnlyFans, it's business, like whatever. And that's cool. She's open to that, you know? That's business opportunity, Shannon. You know what I mean? That's big money. Huge money. OnlyFans stuff. It's big money. You can make huge amounts of money. Reminds me of Ozzy before he bit the bird head off. No. Yeah, wise guy. Really? Bro. No, I'm not as badass as Ozzy, man. But this is just my own. I'd look like this if I were a wrestler. Like, the, you know, Raven's an Ill illegitimate child. This would be my makeup in the ring. It's pretty intimidating if, like, you do the eye thing. Like, you could really intimidate a motherfucker looking like this. I, have the ash like, I really just don't want to, like, deal with people who are weird and just yeah. get way too personal. It's yeah. like, what is wrong with you? I'm trying to do a show here. I'm not trying to, like, get personal with you That's do you do that with strangers you see like uh, learn some street code bros that's something i have to think about wise guy that's a big question but if i'm raven's son it would have to do with a bird probably bird some kind of hybrid raven bird is there a hybrid crazy bird that's a raven part raven part something else like vulture a part raven part vulture bird and it has a new name a condor <laughs> what the fuck no i gotta think about it it has to be a bird i think though oh my god grampy grampy hey. he got another heart attack Grampy had another heart attack? Yeah, Grampy Lobster, seriously, dude. You need to stop doing this, like, drama shit. It's Don't not good for your heart. Man. You gotta stop stressing. You're gonna kill yourself with stress. Yeah, dude. You need to stop the drama shit. It's not good for your heart. I, I have to. Something triggered him. Yeah, yeah, man. Charlie, man. It's not good for me to be upset. Like, I gotta be cool. I gotta be calm. I got. I need my peace. The different belts. Well, G-Man asked me because he wants to buy me an exact replica. And I said, if you're gonna spend money, I want it the hardcore belt, of course. I want the hardcore belt. Because my, my dad's Raven, so, like, that would be the trophy for the hardcore belt. Baby, you're cute. Baby. Your lips are so smooth and your face is smooth and you're beautiful. You don't have dry skin at all, like, like it's smooth. His forehead, my forehead, it's just it's just a little bit uh, of conspiracy palette, that's all. Very little to That me. poor man. Ooh. Can we get your thoughts and prayers for Grampy? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. But you you gotta help yourself, and the way you help yourself is you stop the hating on people, because it's killing your spirit. Your heart's dying because your spirit's black. You have to get Christ Jesus. You need Jesus. Grampy needs to get with God, and then he's gonna move away from hate, and he'll be funny. You can still do pot! Yeah. You can smoke pot and be a Christian. You can drink and be a Christian, okay? They're vices. All right, so let's pray together. Yeah. All right, Father, in the name of Jesus. This man has been extremely uh, uh, hateful to the creator. This man, I don't know his real name, but we're calling him, for lack of better terms, we're calling him Brampy Lobster from YouTube, okay? No, you, have, you can't come in yet, okay? One second, son. Okay, uh, Lord, I'm going to ask you to please be with Brampy Lobster as he's going through this heart attack again. And you're trying to warn him, this is a second warning with a major heart attack, I believe, for this man. Uh, you're trying to show him that his heart is corrupt with hate and filled with sin. So he needs to be clean. So I'm asking uh, the Father to send the Holy Spirit to, to, to Brampy Lobster of YouTube. I'm asking the Father to send the Holy Spirit and Jesus to heal him of this. And he'll be cured of his heart condition, but he's going to have to stop the hate and find Jesus Christ. This is going to be done in the throne room of God today with the, with the people of God uh, praying. Amen. And amen. 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 That's right. Amen. All right, that's One minute. We'll be right back. Yeah. Uh, Love Jesus. No, she loves horses. And her boyfriend too. And her boyfriend too. Exactly. See, that's the girl you want. She's crazy about Elvis and she loves horses. She's just a normal girl and, and like she loves God and she knows the creator. Uh, you know, that's free fallen the song, free fallen. Tom Petty in heaven. Okay, we got it. And then and then the great Eric Clapton asked the question, Would I know your name in heaven if I met you? This is his child that fell out of the window. He asked the question, Would I know your name in heaven? And I think he will. So the boys have spoken about what they want. They want the pizza. They want the pizza and it's gonna be air fried because we got issues. So we're doing the air fryer. And they're gonna be real happy with that because man, it's perfect, champ. Yep, the consistency, texture. Oh, uh, one minute. Yeah. We'll be right back. <laughs> I might play some NES. 
Really? Yeah, I get my mind right, play Contra or something. Contra. Pizza is better cooked in an oven. No. No, it's not. Air fryer, oh my god, our air fryer rocks. This, it's Corsi, Corsi brand air fryer. This thing is, it's the greatest cooking invention since the conventional oven. It's incredible cooker of everything. And then the rice cooker for steaming. What? They blessed us, whoever that was. I know it works. And they're gonna get cooking. Shows out of the definitely. Air fryer is the best. It's healthier too. Exactly. Once we're settled in a place that has lighting appropriate for Shanny's show. You know what else? You're gonna, gonna get in the air fryer. fryer. You're gonna get air fryer videos, all kinds of crazy stuff. This would be good in the air fryer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you put some GR down or whatever the fuck on it, and, and I'll. Ah! <laughs> mayonnaise, <laughs> mayonnaise. Some dude. And then you put it under. You put it in the air fryer. Then it's five minutes. <laughs> and it's like it's it's like Subway crusty bread. Meat way. <laughs> Meat way. I had my magic cards out with G-Man, and I said, do you want me to teach you how to play Magic the Gathering? And he said, yes, but not tonight. He was tired. He works his ass off. G-Man is amazing. He's always going, and God gives him... He said it's God, because, like, I'm like, the energy levels. He's like, it's God. Like, I just drop it. It was me. Like, the energy. It's the Holy Spirit that, that fuels the man's body. But then you had Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers. Uh, there's a legacy of music there. And, you know, you talk about Tom Petty, and people talk about him. Do they know the person, the heart of the person? Yeah, we're beezing. Do we know the heart of Tom Petty? Was he a Christian man? I don't know. I don't know if he was Christian. I have a ninja air fryer. How are the ninja air fryers? Whoa, 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 let me go back. A ninja air, air, air fryer oven and pizza is definitely better cooked in a real oven. Why don't they use air fryer in pizza restaurants? Do you have to argue about everything, people? It's friggin' pizza, folks. Jesus, God. Come on. Lighten up. It's pizza. And I'm gonna tell you that I've never tasted a piece of frozen pizza tastes as good as coming out of an air fryer. Maybe our oven sucks. And the heating isn't uniform, and it doesn't cook a pizza as well as you think it does. This air fryer cooks it more uniformly and better, quicker. You're feeding your family in 20 minutes instead of an hour and a half or two hours in an oven. Can we please move on here? Let's talk about fun stuff. Ozzy Osbourne was always a Christian. That's insane, isn't it, see? They had Ozzy as the Prince of Darkness, but he was actually always a Christian singing about Christian stuff. It's the shot in the dark. No, war pigs. It's all about Satan is creating war. Okay, Black Sabbath is about the, the type of masses uh, that the witches of the New World Order do. The Black Mass, okay? That shit. Just like witches and matches. They were, he was telling me the military is in witchcraft, which is true. Sacrifice. Wait, human sacrifice. here, I'll look up the lyrics real quick and I'll sing it to you guys. Yeah, okay. <laughs> but, but Ozzy's always a Christian. <gasps> thank you so much! What, somebody? Thank you, Isabel. Thank you. You're amazing, okay? That That's such a big help. You have no idea. That's amazing. Thank you. Have you meal and something? We probably oh, yeah. We'll think about that. Thank you. That, if, or save it. We have to start saving money. All right. Because we, we have to have a little nest egg for the next month. We got plans. You know, we got thinking. Shannon and Rev have great taste in music. Yes. Yeah, Marilyn Manson came along with Andy Craig Superstar, and there was like there was like a massive uh, earthquake in hell and in heaven, and there was this rift that was created by this weirdness. All right. So this is the lyrics. Yeah. Generals gathered in the masses, just like witches at black masses. Evil minds that plot destruction, sorcerer of death's destruction. Yeah. In the fields of bodies burning, <laughs> as the war machine keeps turning. <laughs> Death and hatred to mankind. Poison their brainwashed minds. Oh Lord, yeah! Oh, shit. See? <laughs> See? That's Christian music, but people don't know it. It's the Prince of Darkness. No, he was an angel of light. He was a, he, he, it's like an angel can come as a being of darkness to show you something different. That's what Ozzy did. And then he became the coolest guy ever because it's Jesus. It was Jesus, but but he looked like this. He looked like a fucking uh, uh, pit demon. And he's a prince of darkness and biting the hat, heads off of birds, you know. And that's just an act to carry a message, which is really, a, he's a Christian, Ozzy. Yeah, man. Okay, it's from the start, so he loves Jesus. Oh, yeah. He always had crosses. Bum, bum, bum. See? Ozzy always had crosses in this style in his music, and people are like, why the hell are you using a cross? He's like, I'm a Christian. They're like, what? I'm a Christian. No, they didn't even hear it. It's like, yeah, you're a Christian. Okay, whatever. And they moved on. Sharon! But, but, but that's it. Like, he always said, I'm a Christian, man. What? I'm a Christian. <laughs> like, he's telling people, and they're just like, whatever, you're just lying. Yeah, yeah. she's wondering if you're a Christian. I am, yeah. Yeah, I am. Deeply Christian, yeah. Bros. Yep. Truth. I'm a Christian. Truth. Ozzy's a brother, and he's been, it's crazy. He's really on fire guy for Christ, but he does a different way. And then he called him a demon, and he said, okay, I'm your demon then. To be the business. There's flashes of light and, like angels in the room. Yeah, man. He, he came as a being of darkness to show you the light. Do you get that? That's why Ozzy's best songs are the ones where he's emotionally singing higher, not lower. Metal brings you lower in most cases. Okay, but Ozzy's got a voice that he can sing an emotional song and he can bring you hot. Can you take me higher? That song can bring you to heaven if you keep climbing the ladder that they provide with the chorus. Can you take me higher? That can really bring your spirit to the vibration where you can see God. Okay, that's like a gospel tune. That's the way they're supposed to be written to rise to the heights, not bring you lower, which is what a lot of metal does that to bring you in a lower mindset of hate and rage to get mosh pit and fucking split someone's fucking lip open. Oh, Jesus. That happens and it's normal, you know. It's expected in a mosh pit, especially something like Slipknot. I mean, you know, they'll lay the riff on your head. You have to understand that there's a different experience that when you experience this music live with amps, actual instruments, it can hit your body spiritually too, not just physically. I saw Typo Negative in concert in New York in a little club. It, uh, it was one of Pete Steele's uh, leading to his death. It was very, it, he died, I think, Halloween 2012, I think. 
no, 2010, sorry, Halloween, no, it was around Halloween past, uh, yeah, Pete Steele, but I saw one of the last shows for the, the Dead Again tour, and, uh, I was this, like, Pete, damn, it's hard to do perspective on a camera here, but, like, okay, we could say from, maybe double the distance I am from, from the laptop camera, I was close to Pete Steele, and his voice is so powerful, when he do a scream into the microphone, you could feel, I was that far away from an amp, and you could feel the air from the amplifier from his voice, this guy had, like, the, the vocal cords of a giant, like a Nephilim giant, and the power that came from that man was insane, it, I broke up with Nick Muckbang. We have to watch Orlin the Liar home. Okay, Orlin home. Do you have <laughs> There's Nick's cold shoulder in the background. And the chubby hand. Every time Orlin does a video and he's saying that he isn't with Nick, you'll see this individual with a chubby hand, and it's Nick's hand, okay? Orlin is a liar, and Nick is complacent. But look, this is called performance art. It's a wonderful, beautiful thing if you can take it in the spirit which it's intended, which is entertainment. And it's a great little saga that Nick and Orlin have. I'm into, I like both of them a lot, you know? They're funny. The fake fighting, and the, you know, Nick gets his slipper out, and then Orlin snatches it off him and smacks him in the face with it, and he's crying like Cheswick. Charlie Cheswick in One Flew of the Cuckoo's Nest, he starts crying over the cigarettes, okay? That's that's Nick, and it's fake, but it's so it's entertaining. And then Nancy is really his, but she's real, you know? Well, Nick, you shouldn't say that. Okay, Nick, I don't think you should deal with these people, because they might get your channel. You'll get flagged for uh, the R word, and stuff like that. What? He has to stop dealing with certain people, because it can damage his product, which is his reputation, you know? Uh, is he a professional that will deal with professional people, and not people that are psychotic, or maybe of an underbelly, that wear red hats? See, it's demonized. <laughs> True. The red hats, okay? That's it. <gasps> Slayer. Reverend Rance. Yeah, I'll do those videos. Lucky. Wow. Slayer. There's ghosts all over in this room, man. I know it. Raining blood. Th listen, I still can't do that song effectively on Guitar Hero. All these years later, raining blood on it. I can't do it. It's too fast. On Expert. The notes are like cascaded and it fucks your eyes up even. Like, I can't do that. I know it's all hammer-ons and pull-offs, but it's very fast. All right. It's so fast. <laughs> we need to take a break real quick. We do? Okay. Yeah. All right. Great. I love this. this is, I love this show. So, bros, we're, like, playing Jason and X right now. Oh, my God, it's so cool. And we're going to be chilling out with some Stardew Valley. Because, you know, why not? That's what I want to do. Kane Hodder. Yeah, Kane Hodder, dude. So, should I either take one of these if I'm a little hungry, or should I take a sandwich? It's up to you. I mean, you can take one of these. Okay, cool. I don't care. I need a little something. I'll probably have half of it for you. Dude? You're my dude. Thanks for that, yeah. Here's a Trump. Yeah, oh my god, you don't want the Trump. Yeah. I see Coke Zero. I know, right? Okay. I gotta figure out what the hell I'm doing. Oh, yeah, you're on missions. You have to get the shorts, right? Red Snapper. Red Snapper. Yeah, let me get this Geo done. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Cryogenic suspension. Mm. This is sci fi horror comedy. It is sci fi horror comedy. And I love that Hellraiser in space, too. Yeah. Yeah. The Light Demon. The Light Hellraiser Bloodline. Yeah. That's actually fantastic. True. I'm choking my cup with bread. You know when bread gets stuck in you. Yeah, man. That hurts. It does hurt. Yeah. We could be on 24-7, I just play a game, and, yeah, and, and we talk in the background, and they can hear us and speculate. Because if I see trolls in my chat, that's all I'm gonna do, is just play a game and just talk to my husband in the background, instead of talking to trolls. Yeah. You know? Because I love my people, and my people completely understand me as a person. Yeah. But you people, uh, I, I just don't want to do it anymore. Me not worth my life. Say whatever you want. I don't care anymore. But I'm not paying attention to it. And I'm in the chat looking for trolls. Talk. Yeah, dude. Can I mod white guys? No. Oh, he's in front of a rock. <laughs> ah, fuck me! Ah! Rolls were in here a little bit. Yeah, man. They love ruining shit, white guys. They love to try and ruin shit. Do. But it's just trying. Can we get that rag off him, please? You know what movie we haven't seen in a long time? Huh. Into the Loop. What Into the Loop? In the Loop. What, yeah. The one with Peter Capaldi and, um... Oh. That's great I want to finish freaking Doctor Who, too, <laughs> by the way. I do, too. What can we see it on? It's, it's what, HBO Plus? Something like that. We gotta wait. Money. Yeah, we'll get that. God will honor us. Mm -hmm. Huh? You're doing the light work, man. I am. People love me. I'm working my butt off lately. You are working your butt off. You're the wire on me. 
And I'm doing it all while sick. Mm -hmm. On top of it. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, man. Mm -hmm. See you later, Trish. Yeah, later, Trish. We'll go one. Yeah, he's not low enough to work anymore, but once he was, he was a caregiver. Yep. He's a caregiver. I ruined my body taking care of people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I got the 75, bro, 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 bro. This is a Damn. I actually want to take a couple days and wait for a new pickaxe. I think I'm, the next thing I want to get is a copper, but I need money, so I might have to sell my jewels. I think I'll do that. All right, let's do that. You like the pizza? I love the pizza. It's really yummy, isn't it? It is. I'm surprised. Mm. Oh. Mm -hmm. Oh, she's, 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 she's dying. Man, that kind of quick for someone to be kicking it. I know, bro. You see Borgie with, with a hat? No. He's already got a machete. What the hell did he get? I won't take these. Quartz. Oh, I got a lot of quartz. Oh. Okay. Let me go here first. I think Borgie's got a machete already. I don't know how he has a machete already. They brought the Jason Borgie's memorabilia with him. I can try it. They may have. They were like, hey. Here's your favorite weapon. There right? Oh, I'm taking off my wig. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. I took my wig off. I'm letting my hair be free. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm. Man, we're eating good. That's right. Mm. I can't wait to get to that greenhouse. Ooh, we got some red mushrooms. Red mushrooms. Red shrooms. Yeah. No, that one area. That one thing on. Um, that, like, schoolhouse or whatever it is. What schoolhouse? The one with the little apple things? Apple. The little apple beans. Oh, apple beans. I thought that they were gel. They were uh, slime. They could be. Slime beans. But they're like little. They, to me, they look like apples. Uh huh. They do look like apples. Yeah. Mm hmm. Aren't they spirits? Possibly. I thought they were spirits. Sprites. Sprites. Yeah, they're sprites. Mm. I mean, maybe. Maybe. See, they, they, they look like little apples. But they look like slimes, too. But they're like regular slimes. Aha. 2024? Okay. Yum. Wow. That bitch is frozen as fuck. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's a real Mm-hmm. 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 You know what, babe? Huh? I love you. I love you more. You make me happy. It's been a good day. Oh, man, amazing day, man. I just, him and your life is good. Like, I know, I love spending time with him. Yeah. He brightens your day up. Oh, my God, a lot, yeah. If you're going down. Just remember that about G-Man. Yeah. He will brighten your day. He's positive. Influence. Oh, she's freezing. <laughs> Fine, I'm missing my arm. That's actually bad, man. Oh, now she's high. She's like, ah, oh, yeah. Ah, uh, that's like laughing gas. Yeah, man. That 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 is true. Truth. Oh, I can sell the blueberry jelly. All right, so let's go here. Oh, one minute, guys. I have a son situation. So, did you enjoy your little break? Are you guys behaving in the comment section? Comment section, folks. Yeah, man. Hey, watermelon. Watermelon. What are those? They're cute. Baby dog. Such interesting technology that is. I guess so. Well, I'm not rich by any means, but if you all want to, so be it. Shani really liked that fat bastard sandwich. Oh, that fat bastard sandwich was amazing. Yeah, she really loved that. The tin. <laughs> One of the best cheesesteaks I've ever had, definitely. On a level White House. Amazing. Yeah. Delicious. Amazing cheesesteak. Wow. Woo. 
If you ever have a chance to have Dominic's of New York cheesesteak, do it. Dominic's of New York. I oh, know. They're amazing. They're so good. They're on trucks. Domino's. Dominic's. What the hell is this bitch? Why do they always have like an idiot? Like a stupid horror type. <sighs> wow. That's true. Like all of the girls are dressed very provocative. Yeah, man. No it's like, what the hell is that shit? There's no reason for it at all. Mm -mm. Fat bastard. A fat bastard is a sandwich that you can buy for Shani on Trick Street. Yeah, dude. It's, it's, a, it's a cheese steak that's made perfect. Crisco. Oh, it's perfect so cheese. good. It's so good, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and it's easy to eat. It is. Yeah. Yeah. Imagine you going into space with a bunch of college students who are dumb. Oh, my God. No pain. Oh, that's creepy. Nano skin. Feeling, right? right. Nano skin. Uh, yeah, it's really good. They put fried onions on it. Oh, it's an amazing sandwich. But we have a treat stream. I, you want, I'll put the link for That girl is dude. That girl is a dude? Nah, no, she is dude. Oh, she is dude. Yeah. Oh, that is a guy. Never mind. That guy is the dude. He's the dude, bro. Dude, bro. Man, bro. Dude, man, bro. Here we go. Treat stream. And I get the link. Ew. That's unprofessional. Copy. All right, here's the treat stream link. How does he function with a brain that's small? Oh my god, Jason has a little tiny fucking brain. Or he's a yeah, child brain. That, that's because he died as a child. You get it, Shani? Because he had the brain of a child. Just go and have sex, guys. Go, like, uh, yeah, do heavy touching. Ooh. Heavy touching is very pleasing. It's fine. You know no, lobster isn't easy to eat. That, I, I like my lobster to be shelled first. Lobsters. Because I'll just waste it if it's not. Yeah. That lobster mac and cheese at the bone fr fish grill. Oh my god, stop it. You know how good that was? That's so delicious. Oh my god, stop it. It was insane. Oh yeah, I ate like a queen. I loved it. Ew, it's his squashed eyeball! That's really disgusting. Ah. Look at you, watermelon's looking up at the TV like, what the fuck? Yeah. Ah, she freezes that shit. I know. There's the droid girl. Wow. Yeah, dude look like a lady! Dude look like a lady! That's literally Tyler now. Yes! Friday the 13th 4? Yes! Die! Die! <laughs> freaking Cory is the crap. Like, he shaves his head all freaking weird. Dude, oh my god. Ah, <gasps> same vibe as Fooey Beauty when she cut all her hair off! Yeah. Tommy, right? He's another Tommy. Oh man. She smacked him. Tommy. Die! What the fuck? Die! Yeah. His husk is exhausted at this point. Husk? Yeah, my body. Yeah. I mean, I'm alright. I feel good. G-Man is a, like, he gets the energy in me. Shani will need a new host come spring. Jesus Christ. I don't think I'm gonna be dead by spring. What is wrong with you people? It doesn't work if you're blocked. What? Right. Fucking haters. Yeah, fine. I, I came in the wrong time to give it. Oh my god. If you want to hook Shani up with a fat bastard, you can buy her one. I can't with these people anymore. They're just stupid. You don't have to be mean, man. Like, Jesus Christ. Fuck me. No, Shani wouldn't go with a new host. Shani would enjoy being single uh -huh. and live the rest of her life as a single woman. We love each other. Because I just don't want to do a relationship anymore. Because men like you are the problem with society. Thank you very much. Like you're, they're, that's like, like you're prophesying my death. Like Jesus Christ, man. That's so gross. Wow, you're just gonna say I'm gonna die before spring. Like, what the hell is this shit? That's you're so gross. It's really weird shit, man. I love this man. Yeah, we, we make love. Yeah, we do. Do you know what it's like to make love to a woman? I bet you don't, because all you do is hate on women. Yeah, it's really weird. Really abusive shit. Baby, I love you. I love you, I love you baby. Yeah, we'll take a puff. Oh my god, it's beautiful. Baby. Baby goes. You're my cousin. Yeah, every way, every day, uh, forever. Oh, wait, Bobby. 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 Love you. I love you. I love you, Bobby. Bobby kisses. Love you. People hate on love now. Uh, you're a lover, so I'm gonna hate it. Whatever, man. No. I'm going back to my game. Full screen the game, man. Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Let's play out a concert. I'm gonna sell all this stuff, man. Alright, so. I'm gonna keep one of them each. Ew, she's nasty. Uh oh. The, the, the priests have to be subjected to the whoredom. Yeah. I don't agree with that type of behavior. I'm a naughty girl, father. You know that's really gross. That's like, lady. It's gross, though. It's yeah. An, it's an assumption that fathers will always take that. Like, like that other movie. What was it? Uh, v for Vendetta. Yeah. Like they, the priests are perverts. Man, that's really horrible shit, isn't it? I wonder how much money I get for this. <laughs> wow. I need money. Ew. That's gross, man. Yeah, that's disgusting shit. Yeah. You're a beast. <laughs> oh. 
That's good quality hard work right there. You're a worker bee. You're a BBB. Uh, oh my gosh, he's pinching his nipple and he's wearing lingerie. Nipple piercing. No, nipple clamps. That's like gross. This is not a feeling. That looks bad, doesn't it? Chatty. Our porn is better than that. Way better. That was gross. Not even a feeling. Ew. Yeah, it wasn't a feeling. That's just gross. It wasn't a feeling. Yuck. Our porn was a feeling. We're, we're becoming prudes. No. No. That was not a feeling to the eye. It was fake sounding. Yeah, and it was gross looking. There was nothing a feeling. No. They're, now they put this chick in here and they're like, so you, right. want, you want to see her in that scene. You know, this chick, the blonde. With the, with the yoga pants. Correct, Elemental. Love is the law. They're like, you want to see that scene with her and then you're waiting for that. That when she's having sex. You know? I'm really done oh, with, with people that. being mean, though. That, see? <laughs> Our nipples, <laughs> nipples fell off. <laughs> I don't know. I've seen her in something, though. Oh, I got something. What do I have? Hello, it's blackberry season right now. The bushes are full of them. I want to pick some, but I lost my basket. Can you help, Linus? Yeah, Linus, I'll get you some blackberries. Linus, blackberry. Look at this. My garden is looking beautiful. Your garden. Oh. Your garden looks beautiful, honey. My garden. It's a beautiful thing. It's a gorgeous garden. It's oh, the best God. garden in the world. Oh. I gotta find some freaking blackberries for the Linus, you, need you know. Some freaking blackberries for Linus. Yes. The Linus needs some blackberries. Yes, Linus is. I always uh, get this messed up. Lewis and Linus. Okay, that is who I'm thinking of. That is Linus. For Linus. Yes. Uh. <gasps> That's some blackberries. Oh my God, Linus is gonna get some blackberries. Holy shite. He got some blackberries. Oh, well. She's having fun there. You know, the rule of scary movies is... They die if they have sex. Yeah, man. She must die. She's done the carnal she sin. Did. She did it. How dare she? The carnal sin is sex, right? Yes. Oh, 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 oh. She's, she's on with it. A purple mushroom? Ah, he's there. He's like, ha, 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 it's just like a hot woman. Why do you have to kill a hot woman? Oh, you need to be frozen. That's insane. Freeze dry face. Oh my god, that's crazy. That's one. Whatever, you're a loser. See? Linus? The track is woman. You just killed her. What's the point? It's not good. Oh, it's Linus's basket. Linus's basket. Okay. Oh, it's not a purple blackberry he needed. Purple blackberries. It's his basket he needed. I think it's down here. Blackberries. Yeah. He needs a basket. <laughs> Will you stop copying every word I say? No, I just was trying to understand too. Sorry. Oh lord. Horrible thing to do. I have all this stuff I have to do. But I think Linus's basket is if you go down here. If I remember correctly. Just be careful with the video. I like it. I, I take it that stabbing and being frozen wasn't part of your plan. Dude, you have no idea. You don't know me. You don't know me anymore. You, you don't love me. Baby Hardwood. A Terminator. I think it's over here. I also need to get my freaking pickaxe. It's copper. I got the money for it. I can do it this time. I'm a happy kid to have. Yes. Ooh, more blackberries. But if I remember correctly, oh, look at these blackberry bushes. You can make so much jam. And when we can get the wine going, wine. He just said that her balls are bigger than his. Nice come on, dude. Oh. I don't either, man. That's something that you don't say to a woman, man, ever. Yep. Ooh, hot! Watermelon band and a polka dot bow. Oh. I can't afford it. I gotta, I gotta save. I always. I have vertical clitoral foot piercing since it's just a man once. Yeah, that's fun shit. I didn't know that. Wow, that's cool. That's real cool. That's some fun shit. Yeah, you wanna get- I don't know what you wanna get. She's got a vertical one, that's cool. Vertical. But then again, TMI too. Well, I mean, that's the like people know I have a Prince Albert, like, what's the flavor? You know? Unless I, fake person here. I don't care anymore. I'm like just crabby when it comes to people now. Oh my god, I can't find it. I can't find it. Where would it be? Oh, look at bushes. More blackberry bushes. Might as well take advantage of it while looking for this. Oh lord. Ah, oh, he got her. That's a creepy girl. Come play with me. One, two, three, four. Oh no, I messed up again. I think your mind is kind of buzzing up a little bit. Is it? I think so. Yeah. Is it? It sounds uh, uh, static. Let me do this. Uh, Let me do this. Whoa, Stop now. Let's see. Stop whoa, now. Whoa. You gotta turn it down. Whoa, okay, wait. Turn it down a little? No, wait. Stop now. Let's do this. Stop now. Whoa, you gotta turn it down. Whoa. You're good now. Yeah. You're good now. Oh, yay! I think I turned a little bit. See, that right. works always on plug it in, plug it in, right? Yep, plug it in, plug, plug it in. in. USB is a great invention. That's right. Yeah, see, that's true. I sound like a Russian, I can't speak up to it. It's like broken English. USB is great technology advancement. It's true, you know. Plug and play. Damn. She got that. That's a good weaponry. They got, like, these boomsticks. They do. Boom. 
Well, fiddlesticks, I can't find it. Fiddlesticks? Yeah. Let me see around here. I'll, I got another place I can look. I'm not just... I may have to look it up. Okay. Yeah, I got my groove on. Oh, wait, 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 I remember where it is now. I know where it is now. I remember. I remember. Stop copying me. It's annoying. So you have to go in this tubal right here. And... Ooh, get these, get these right here. Because right here is the basket. There we go. We got the berry basket. Now we can go back. Ha ha ha. I remembered. I remembered. Ah, Jason. What? Jason's going nuts, man. Oh, that is... Oh, he broke his back! I heard that, man. That was really bad. Oh, that was rough, bros. That's not good. My nose is so drippy. You know? Yes, I'm glad I'm not on camera right now. It's still drippy, my friend. Yes. Where the frick is he? Linus. Dude. Dude, man. Hobo. Dude. Dude. Hobo. Dude. I don't see the dude. Oh, woe is me. I guess I'll just return it tomorrow. There he is. Oh, more, more. More berries. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, no more berries. Okay. I need to see if I can get a purple shroom, too. Purple shroom. Oh, my Friday God. Friday the 13th game. We should. Huh. We should play the Friday the 13th game. We have it on the Switch. We do. We should play that. Looks fun. Yeah. Uh, definitely looks fun. We should do it when it's late at night. Yeah, dark. Yeah. Yeah. Can you hear my blood curdling screams? Yeah, well, heart monitor and shit. That's funny. Pretty cool. Let me go. Uh, the Amigo. No, Friday the 13th of the game. Holy crap. It was interesting. Anyhow. Holy crap. Blackberry wine. Blackberry. Barry's. This is beautiful. Look at this. I've heard Bardo diamonds on both sides. That's Look at my produce. Awesome. Produce. What did you get? Potatoes. All right. I'm just going to go to bed. You're going to sleep. Yeah. Uh, where's Gavin? I, I searched and I achieved what I needed to achieve. You can't find Gavin. Is he outside? He's, Gavin's around. He just hangs out. Yeah. And then you can go pet him and he gives you love. Yeah. Because he's Gavin. Yeah. He's like, I love you. Gavin's a good boy. Yeah, he, he doesn't get you. <gasps> I, ooh, Zach! One minute, baby! Yeah, one minute. Hey, honey, am I beating you? No. <laughs> no! Everything's good. We're doing good. It's called talking to your child, you know? Yeah. I, I'm taking my attention away from me being bored. No shit. To actually talking to someone who matters. Mm -hmm. That type of thing, you know what I mean? That's important. Wow. So, you're gonna be blocked, too. Fuck This is weird. It's so weird, man. Yeah. It really is weird. It's very weird. Like, Shani is a good wife. She, she's not abusive in any way. She's a good wife. Like, what the flip? Oh my god, no. Like, leave me alone, you weirdos. Yeah, it's bullshit. I'm sorry you have a weird narrative of people. You like to harass them. Yeah, it's ridiculous. I'm sorry you feel the need to do that to other people. But please know. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, we want just, like, no drama and peace and shit. And yeah. Help each other out. Yeah, I'm just chilling in my life, man. Leave me alone. I ain't doing nothing. Yeah, you're not I'm growing corn right now. Right. Okay? I'm providing for this community here. Yeah, you got a job. You're doing it. Yeah. See, I even got a letter. I got a letter. Dear Shani, one week from today, we are holding the Stardew Valley Fair in the town square. Wow. It's the biggest event of the year drawing people from all across the country to our humble town. Yeah. If you'd like, you can bring, you can set up a Grange display for the event. Just bring up to nine items that best showcase your talents. Ooh, I can buy, bring all my gold stars. Your gold stars? Yeah, my gold star produce. Man, that's it. So you're bartering. You're a farmer. That best showcase your talents. You'll be judged on the quality and diversity of your display. The fair starts at 9 a.m. Don't miss it, Mayor Lewis. So from one week from today. I hope Ariel. Oh, my knee hurts. I'm about to take some CBD, bro. Take it. Yeah, take a whole package of the green ones. Oh, yeah, dude. I think they're blueberry, I think. Take the CBD. Like, they taste good the gummies. They're all very tasty gummies. Man. That's a pretty cool weapon, but it's like Vorgies. Like, bullets are not. Oh. Good. I apologize. Vorgies are, are. It's nothing bullets. Yeah, man. Watermelons is a baby dip. I get it. Cool. I'm gonna consume this. Not allowed. You're cold. This is delicious. And the watermelon's cold. Then it has CBD. My knee is hurting like shit. Baby girl. Hi. Hi, watermelon. Here. I know. Man. Just a minute. You gotta show yourself and say hi to people, watermelons. Yeah. I know. That's a good It's okay. Yeah. Eventually, you're not gonna meow at all, and you're gonna like it. Because you're my baby, you're and I love you. 
You're a good baby. You're a good baby. All right. Well, have fun with your life, watermelon. Enjoy the radiator. Yeah, that's how she works. All right. You had enough. Thank you for some lovings. Yeah. You're a good girl. Yeah. You want some ham? You want some ham? Try this delicious ham. It's delicious. Yeah. Oh my God. Right? She's a baby. Right? What do you think of that? She's a baby. Enjoy some ham. Oh, and here's some provolone. I know you like cheese. You got some provolone there for you. There you go. You got some provolone too. There you go. She went for the provolone first. She loves me. She loves cheese. Oh yes, it was me. Don't go anywhere. I'm prepared, bro. Hi, Joe. How are you, Joe? Hey, Joe. How you doing? Oh, I can't breathe. Oh God, I can't breathe. Don't leave me, Joe. Stay with me, Joe. Stay with me, Joe. I need I need company. Hey, I'm with a bunch of ravenous wolves trying to eat me up and spit me out. Joey. I need someone who would help me and love me a little bit and give me some love and attention. Yeah, yeah, Joe, the real American hero, you know? Right? That's right. Yeah, Joe is the real American hero. We're going on a journey with some blueberry gummies. Yeah. The C B D you wanna try them? No, I can't. No, I would You're really flying right no, now. I have enough shit in me. Definitely. You know what I mean? Like funny. Mm. Hot to you, wise guy. How are you, baby? Yeah, he's a good individual. We like wise guy. How are you, honey bun? You know I care about you, wise guy. No, he's a good individual. You know? He's a good guy, you know? Wise guy is a sweet man. He's a very good person. Like, he really is. I guess I could try to kill some grubs. You're killing grubs, man. I am. I gotta return my basket to, to, to Linus. What's the purpose of killing grubs here? With people? They just want some grubs, I guess. Some people eat grubs. Some grubs, though. Like, you wouldn't choose to eat that. Right? Oh, you've been crying all night and day? No. Who? Why is that? I don't. I'm so sorry. What moment? I'm so sorry. Who was crying? I think I'm the only one who voted for you to play GTA yesterday. Oh, my God. I need to play GTA. Which one? Five? I was thinking, like, let's do some Vice City. Well, I have a question for you. What? Have you ever 100% of GTA 5? I don't know. I'd love to do that. You need to do that. If you have, let's start a new game and do that. Wait GTA 5, man? Yeah, and 100% of it, though. That's the challenge. You get what I'm saying? We could do that. I say that's the serious challenge. You get it? Mm-hmm. 100%ing it. Honey, can you do some modding for me? Yeah, you need somebody to take care of. Yep. All right, I got you. Hang You'll on. see. I'm going to stay in the room on my phone. Sorry. Yeah, you should. I am. Sorry. I'm being neglectful uh, in the world. Come on. Come on. There we go. Who are we taking care of here? You'll see. Oh my god, I don't see any ladies. The vodka? Homeless Jimbo. Homeless Jimbo? Yeah. God, I don't know. Come on. Oh my god, taking care of Shannon, dude. But, you know, Thank you. I don't know why it's the meanness, you know? I don't get the meanness either. It's like, please, just move forward with your life. Oh my god, yeah. It's like, geez, come on, man. Life is too short to be an asshole. Yeah, it really is. Like, you gotta get over it, right? Mm-hmm. It's getting over stuff. And don't believe liars. Forgive me. I'm sorry I hurt your feelings somehow. Yeah. Can we also say don't believe liars? Yeah. Don't believe liars. That's a really bad idea. Mm-hmm. Because liars lie. You they know. do. Lying liars. liars who lie. That's a big one, man. You gotta be careful with it. You gotta really be careful with these assholes. Oh my god, where the fuck is this dude? I don't know. Is he over here? He might be here in the bus stop. Really? Mm-hmm. Maybe. <laughs> I was right! You are right quite a bit in games like Bam. that. Bam. Bam. Yeah, man. Like, I'm moving on with my life. Yeah, you have to, because it's bullshit. You know? Let's get the grubs. That's your, that's your Mr. Cherry Jason, see? And this psycho's all excited about him getting the machete back now. Oh, I need to get a purple, purple mushroom. Let me look for that first. Let me grab these blackberries. Yeah. <laughs> you can do that. Yeah, black that girl talk to. No one's on opiates, stupid. Oh my god, why the fuck is... Who's doing that? Like, what the fuck is this girl about? talk. Yeah, I don't, do, I don't drink everything. <laughs> I'm consuming hemp. Yeah. This hemp product is legal. It's all... And, and the cough syrup is, is gone. Like, we used it over time. Seriously. When you're sick, you're sick. There's nothing you can do. There's nothing you can do. Like, move on with your life, weirdo. Well, you want the mushroom, man. Yeah. Yeah. I don't go around and harass you. No, you don't. Why the fuck do you come in my territory and harass me? Yep, that's the question. Huh? Yeah, you know? That's bullshit. Yeah, corn is very smart to plant in the summer. Corn? Oh, actual corn plant. I guess that's it, Elemental. Something. You always have to be mindful of people's uh, shit, you know? Ah, yes! I guess what I'll do is go fishing. You're going fishing. Yep. 
I'm going fishing for, for the next couple days. The next couple days. Are you going to copy everything I say? No, it's good. I think it's right. Ah, oh, you sneaky fish. All right, fish. <laughs> Laugh out loud, it's in the middle of cold and flu season during a pandemic, and what? Shaming you for using cough medicine. Make that make sense. You can't, apparently. You have to be perfect with these people or you're not good enough. I don't know, they shame everything. It's like, I'm in a safe environment. I'm not hurting anyone. I'm not hurting myself. My, my, my children are playing with their friends. We're watching a scary movie and we got a watermelon by our feet being all fluffy. If that makes me a bad person, well, I guess I'm just a bad person. And I just don't give a fuck anymore. Because I tried. God knows I've tried. Yeah, they should think God no one takes a magnifying glass to their life. You're right. They would not like it. They'd whine and whine and cry. See how it feels. Oh my god, you piece of fucking fucking jet fish. That fish is... Oh, he jumps everywhere. I need another pole. I should check my willy and see who has a new pole. I should check willy for his new pole, man. I got a small mouth bass. Ooh -hoo. What did I make you realize, Joe? I mean, I got nothing to do. It's cold outside. It's icy out. I'm I, I'm sick. I, I'll turn that down in a minute. I'm sick. I need to isolate, right? I I I got nothing better to fucking do. Okay. Do you know what doctors tell me? They tell me stay home and 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 isolate and and come back when you feel better. What if I don't feel better? It's been so long since I felt good. Look at my nose. How red it is. I'm gonna watch the color purple today. Whatever you do unto me, you do unto yourself. Jason's about to lay it out with people, man. Ah, oh, the Irish guy comes through. Of course. Ah, ah, ah. Ah, he got the droid in the stomach. Ah. Your real doll, bro. He broke it. He broke the real doll. Oh! Oh, she said gotcha and she shot him and he like, went like a thousand million feet in the air. I don't know how that actually happens. You know, physically, but you know, it's the movies. Ah, oh, go Android. Go real doll. Yeah, exactly. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. He's a devil. Take him on. Ah oh, man, he took it. He's gonna move forward, man. Ah, oh, ah, oh, ah, oh, she's doing a flippy flip and she kicked him. Ah, oh, ah, oh, she did kick him again. On the ground he is. She's right over him. She, ah, oh, ah, oh, she was gonna take his head off, but he punched her in the face. Knocked her on the ground. Ah, oh, ah, oh, this dude stabbed him in the shoulder and then he, like, did this and elbowed him in the head. Yeah, I have to go to Willie in the pole. Thanks for reminding me. Oh my god, it's nighttime. I'm gonna die. Get out, Shannon. I totally forgot. I guess I'll see Willie's pole tomorrow. It's too late to see his pole today. Sister Act? Sister Act is good, but Whoopi is supposed to be cancelled, or is she not cancelled? Do you cancel Whoopi or do you not cancel Whoopi? What is your opinion on the cancelage of Whoopi? Wait! Whoa! Hold on a second. I have a child.
Yeah. My poor baby. Yeah, I think that's the case. I was worrying about you. Oh, it was hurting, man. I was so worrying about you, baby. It was hurting. Oh, baby. I'm sorry. I, I love you. I love you, too. I want to be here, you know? But holy shit. I can't do dairy, I don't think. Like cheese. I love cheese. Jesus Christ. No more cheese. Ugh. I can't breathe. That's some weird conversation in the chat room. Uh -huh. And my camera broke. It's frozen. Deactivate. And then reactivate. Interesting how that works. And it does I work know. Every time. I know, right? You shut it off and on in the, in the electronic settings. I'm just good at that stuff, man. Yeah. I love you, baby. I feel like there's a war in my stomach. Oh, honey. My stomach, there's a... The demons and angels are fighting. Like, wow. It's nuts. That's what you get for doing warlock paint. No. It's, I get for eating a spicy Italian stuff. You know, I can't do it. it everything is bad. <laughs> but little Debbies don't hurt your stomach for some reason. Yeah, and that's why I have tons of Nutty Buddies, and I ate all your Nutty Buddies, and the G-Man had one, you know? I, I have three Nutty Buddies. I feel horrible, though. Oh, my, see, this is my stomach, though. Yeah, I know. We're eating like old people now. It's ow, awful. Ow, ow, my stomach. It hurts. It's crazy. I know. The little Debbies are just pure joy. The spice is life. <gasps> we should watch Doom. Why? <coughs> <coughs> Because it's trippy as fuck high. Yeah, but there's really nothing good about it. That is probably one of the most honest things I've ever heard someone say. I don't get the love Not for the doom. No. I don't get it. It's it's Lynch's uh, weakest work. That is correct. It's not upside down. It's right side up. You know, so when your thumbs up, the cross is up. Hello? Oh my god, this ain't upside down cross. Well, that's why you're, you're, you're Satanist tattoo artist. Uh, oh, no, see? We started a fight. We, we, we caused something controversial. The Dune lovers. Uh-oh. Okay. We apologize for the offense. You can love Dune. It's fine. <laughs> I was kind of into it for a while, too. Because it's so weird. <laughs> and then you realize there's a lot better David Lynch movies. That, that's, that's beyond true, hun. Yeah, it really is. Yeah. David Lynch, while, while extremely strange, is a genius. In his own way, yeah, I guess so. No, he's a genius. In disturbing the fuck out of you, maybe. Well, that's his aim. Because he said his films are meant to replicate nightmares. Nightmares? Yeah, the racer head is pretty much a fucking nightmare. Uh-huh. Oh my god, titties! Whoa. Holy shit. I have to destroy it. That's the Camp Crystal Lake simulator. Does he destroy them? Mm -hmm. Yep. He does. It's pathetic. <clears throat> it's like, see, he beats them in. Remember that? He beats them together in the... Uh, <laughs> it's pathetic and stupid. You know what I want to watch? What? The sequel to Halloween. The new Halloween movie. We tried that. We tried? The other day. And it's not available anywhere. Right? No. It, it, we tried watching it and you just ignore it the whole time. What? No. Yes. Whatever. Oh, I don't know. Elemental has a eraser head DVD signed by the David Lynch. Now that's really awesome. Yeah, that is that is awesome. Now that's something you'd never get rid of. Never. Well, you know. You but that movie is disturbing to the core. It's very weird, yeah. But it's all psychology. And dreams. Nightmares. I don't like dreams. Yeah, it's trippy. And it makes you really think mm -hmm. about shit. What the hell's a dream? Huh. Well, yeah, what is it? That's a question. What is a dream? Huh. But I'd say that Little Debbie's has the ability to put love into a pastry, a snack cake. And mm -hmm. it just, it's there to replenish your soul. It's like manna from heaven. That's true. It's incredible spiritual experience. Nope. Nutty buddies. Trish, what's going on between Kim and Kanye now? Oh my god. Kanye's out of his mind, though. You have to understand he's in a psychotic, continual psychotic break. Kanye's out of it, man. He needs, like... What is he doing now to her? Kanye's really an asshole. Or he's mentally ill and he needs intervention. You remember what he did to freaking Taylor Swift? Yeah. That was so weird! This is when this is when the man loses his, his, his actual mind. He he's, like, insane, like, in Caligula. Well, this is... Nah, I don't know about that, but this is why they said that he needed... Him um, and Jeffree Star hooked up. Caligula. <laughs> This is why they wanted to put him under a conservatorship, because he has these moments where he has a guy breaks. Jeffree Star is known for his orgy parties. Whatever, man. That's Kanye is, was next door neighbors. Mm -hmm. He didn't have to go very far. Oh, sorry, honey, I was out to get some milk. Milk, whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah, honey, okay. Milk. Mm-hmm. Milk from a titty. No, and Jeffrey, he'd be like, don't worry, I'll have the milk sent to us before you leave. Oh, my God, he would do that. He would do that. Yeah, Jeffrey goes to Kim K. Right. Jeff girl is a sneaky bitch. Jeffrey would go to Kim K. He'd go, girl, I don't know why your guy keeps coming over here for milk, but I sent it to your ass. Okay, girlfriend. Word. 
Kanye wants me, okay? You get your bitch in line. That's what that's what Jeffrey would say to Kim. You gotta get your bitch in line because he wants my ass. That's weird, isn't it? Isn't it strange? People need to stop cheating. It's really weird, though. That's weird. Like, seriously, people really need to stop cheating. It's well, you're gross. Well, you disease, too. Mm-hmm. It's a moral faux pas and, and, and all that stuff. Fornicate. Don't be fickle. Choose a partner. Why would you fornicate? Even if you want to be in an open relationship, that's whatever. But, you know, you should probably do it under the auspices of, you know, well, there's a spirit. That was amazing. G-Man TV, you guys good? I think so. I don't think that's the real G-Man. I don't think that's the real G-Man too. We love you. He would text us. I think so. Gossiping about Kanye fun. Well, you know, uh, he needs help. It's... He needs an advocate. Uh -huh. Help. Mm -hmm. Mental help. He has moments where his mental status is, is literally, wow, like a guy that you find chewing his elbows in the corner of the room at the top floor of the hospital behind a locked door that he gets there yes jason has a black eye uh him and g-man they wrestled with each other oh and g-man's elbow went right into his freaking eyeballs jesus christ if you go earlier in the stream you'll see that i had the conspiracy palette and i did some of this yeah some of it rubbed off on the top so it's not as effective as it was but i could do retouching but i, I don't want to that's her palette i would like to get a conspiracy palette <laughs> somebody send me a conspiracy palette because i like makeup's kind of fun you know it's something different and weird and, and i don't do feminine nights like i'll just like you know Shane Dawson, like, does the gloss. Shane Dawson, you know, he does the lip gloss and the female shit. That's your deal. I'm not, you know. He has two black eyes. He's doing blackface. Excuse me. Look, you need to look up black metal artists. <laughs> this is a Scandinavian thing. <laughs> he racist, y'all. He oh, racist. Yeah, son of a bitch. You see, even though probably laughing at that. <laughs> like, I even get laughed at on, on my own wife show. How do I even, there's no way I can make it. Like, people are just gonna cut my throat, man. <laughs> Christ in heaven, this is ridiculous. If you want the full look, I'll do it, okay? Right, you guys can't do this anymore. You guys want some kind of big show, so fine. This stupid fucking phone. Ow! Sorry. That's the end of the life of it, you know? I can't do it anymore with phones. Oh, no, I can't wear it, I don't think, because I think there's cat pee on it. I always tell my hubby to get his own makeup. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I agree. You shouldn't be poking your white shit. That's wrong. With your grubby male hands, right? Do you want to watch... What other movie do you want to see? Can we watch John Wick? Please. Jesus Christ. I'll never watch the movie. That movie's so fucking Christian. Yeah, but there's, there's a point to it, and then... It's a better story. Oh, uh, it's just a revenge story. They're so freaking petty. More than that. When's the last time we've seen a monster movie? A monster? Like what? The thing? Something like that. The thing? The thing sounds good, man. Yeah, we could do the thing if you want. Yeah, this wasn't, this wasn't soil. The dude. You are the dude! I got it, see? But you're gonna get the full look. Uh, uh, look, like, that's just your opinion, man. You're gonna get the full look, you know that? That's cool, isn't it? Right? <laughs> you are have the most interesting style combination I've ever seen. This is dudeism. So you have the okay, jail, yeah. shirt jail shirt with your matrix pants yeah. and some Star Wars socks yeah. with a whale in Yutani's shirt yeah. while wearing the dude's sweater yeah. and a like wrestling peg and like god looking thing. Sort of, yeah, yeah, sure. Are you doing a ritual? No. No. We're, no. Where's <laughs> What are you talking about? You know, my wife makes evil of things of her husband. <laughs> Can someone please explain this to me? Alright, this is it. See, you're getting full. On. <laughs> the glasses, the glasses. Okay, here you go, man. That's Nerd! It. Whatever. That's it. See? That's it right there. You got it. Okay, now. To every troll, like, this is what I would say to you, okay? And especially the big troll, the biggest one. You can take this clip. I'd say to you, look, that's just like your fucking opinion, man. You cut that. That should be your intro for every video that includes my face or my wife. Like, that's just your fucking opinion, man. Rev, don't let her clown you for what you like. I'm not a good partner trait. My wife can talk however she wants. <laughs> I don't muzzle anybody, man. What the fuck do you think it is? Maybe he likes being a little ribbed. Well, no, it wouldn't, we don't live in a freaking dictatorship marriage. No. Like, she's her own person, and she has her own fucking opinion. Uh, you know? <laughs> this is the dude look right here with the shades, but I can't do that because I need to see your chat. So I need my actual eyes. See? <laughs> now you look like a very old man! With short hair. You can see that. It's, you know... Oh, baby, I love you. Well, there's another spirit. You got, do you see that? You got angels by your, your your head. I know, they look like feathers, don't they? Yeah, see, there's more angels. There's angels just all over. Macho Man vibes from Star's sweater you have on Shani. Macho Savage, really? You can fight at the Slim Jim, bro. Yeah, this is pipe tobacco, okay? Uh, I had a stem. It, Please don't smoke that on my stream. I can't do that. Jesus, God, whatever. Don't have me cigarettes. I will take a puff of this. Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. Wise guy, so does Shani. Likes longer hair better. I do, too. It always suits my face, you know? Block. You're not blocked. You should be blocked. But I'm letting you have a little grace. We love you, Trish. You're nice. I remember you shaved your head, hair. Yeah, you regret it after. Well, it was a, it was just, my hair was messed up. It had issues. So I, it had a go. I had massive knots and shit and stuff like that. It was crazy. Hey, so sweet. You helped me. Daddy. Your mommy said thank you. I love you. 
You might just like a rabbit. You know that? Ooh. That you sing that song, you know. Oh uh, yeah, flowing hair down guys, yeah. Jenny likes that. Hair takes fine. Ah, uh, Jenny together, exactly. Yeah, we love it too. Uh, it's fun. Yeah. To be on and, and have people to have a nice conversation. Why can't we do this? What are we doing so wrong, exactly? Nothing. We're just talking. See, some people don't like opinions. No. Favorite tag team. Oh my god. I don't know about hey, we could do wrestling matches, probably Jenny. Like it, you need to get healthy enough though, your uh. your joints. You know what's the funny thing is? This is the same freaking person that just does not want to stop trolling. Yeah. I need some mod. Oh my god. Can you mod this dude I'm for trying, me? I'm trying to get with it. You know what I mean? I'm doing my best. Oh my god, I'm getting in there, yeah. Where? You'll see it. I am Roddy. Jesus it's Christ. a few ones up. I got it. Yeah, that's it. I got them. Do game wrestling. Game wrestling. Yeah. Kindergarten jokes, yeah. Yeah, the kindergarten jokes are lame. It's just like the same thing over and over and over again. There's witches out there, yeah. It's like, be yeah. original. Witches are fine. You can only fat shame someone so much with the same jokes over and over again before it gets like really old. You're doing the SpongeBob thing where huh. he, he he said he ripped his pants and he did it over and over again to people and people got sick of the stupid joke because it became no longer funny. Yeah. That's what you are. Yeah, that's accurate, man. Do something new with your life. Yeah, that's accurate, what you stated. You know, that's it. It's really pathetic, really. Let's be sisters, see? Yeah, yeah. yeah, witches are cool, man. Witches are cool. The church was stupid and killed them for some reason for a while. I don't know why. Oh my god, that's not so cute, Daddy's little squirt. Yeah, Daddy's squirt. That is cute. <laughs> squirt. Right, Later, baby. Johnny. With ketchup from tomatoes. That's definitely like a line, yeah. Ah, <laughs> somebody'd say that. Went forever home, but okay. Nobody got kicked out of nowhere. We just had to move on. Oh, one minute, guys. Don't squirt. Ha <laughs> oh. I would like to put a disclaimer out there to my audience that if you talk about anything personal about my life, I'm going to block you. Yeah, man. Jeez. Ah. I think it's very inappropriate to talk about people in their personal life. Yeah. And I really think you may have to go to therapy so you can learn boundaries. Yep. Because you go too far in trying to be personal with someone. Yeah. <laughs> I'm here to entertain. I'm not here to tell you about my life story in intimate ways. God. Thank you. We're gonna put away the chat and watch Interview with a Vampire. You're gonna get live commentary to Interview with a Vampire. We really like this movie. Yeah, it's great. You know, yes. It is great. Do you have the remote? I do have the remote. Right. One minute. Let me let me just do this real quick. Okay. Wow. Stan Winston. There we go. We're, we're riff tracking this. Riff tracks. It's time for another riff track. Jason William E. Groff. There it is. We lost Tom Servo. I'm gonna find it. We didn't lose Tom Servo. Oh, we can make another one. Someday when we definitely make it. The one. music. Is it Danny Elfman? No. no. Oh, it's Elliot Goldenfall. I, don't, I never heard of him. <laughs> Definitely not Danny Elfman. Mm -hmm. Dante Ferrete. Hey. I am a fashion designer. Yeah, he sounds like one, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. Anne Rice novel, yeah. Yep. Did, you were in, you had to be in terror shit. No, I hated her writing style. Oh my god, wow. You were a goth girl, you didn't like Anne Rice. But... I liked her movies. Mm -hmm. Not for writing. It's like Stephen King. Okay. I hate Stephen King books. I love the, the movies. Yeah. Okay. You like what you like. Yeah, that's true. Do Christian Slater. Look, it's Christian. He's so dreamy. What are you that? You're a Christian Slater fan. Of course. I know that. Mm. Good song. The vampire. Like little do people know, me and Jason, we need each other. Yeah, man. We're we're a spirit team. 
And when one is away from the other, it's like a sickness, a spirit sickness and weakness that I'm not with you. It's really rough. It hurts. My heart. Gavin, get back. Yeah, we need Gavin with us. See? He needs to come back now. Yeah. Every time Jamie is here, Gavin runs away. Yeah, it's just he's not used to him and it scares him. Oh my god, look how young Brad Pitt looks. Like 18. God, he looks like such an old man now. Well, sure, he's older now. Man. Holy shit. Hmm. He is old. Jamie. He had long hair. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. Wow, I've always been attracted with men with long hair. Yeah, of course you were. You said Xena, like, made you discover that, and then it was like someone on Xena. Varias. Jenny, <laughs> you love Varias? Do I love Varias? Yes. See? See? Who else on Xena? Aries. Aries, he had that cool long hair for a while. He did short Oh, hair. the curls, they're so beautiful. Mm -hmm. He looks very Jewish, like his hair, yeah. Kinky hair. I appreciate their looks. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I'll just be honest, I appreciate their looks. Sure, they're nice to look at. Normal. Yes. Oh. <laughs> oh lord jesus my hip hurts and my knee hurts so bad well you should just lay back and watch the movie and play your game and relax you turn that light off i'd love to turn yeah, off the stupid fucking light don't need the spotlight God, yeah there you go that's so much oh. nicer see and look how beautiful that is i wish i could have lived in this time yeah me too modern technology oh my boobies would have been like straight up all the time in a corset that's hot see yeah, yeah you wouldn't have worn a corset because you're like I, I pretty much put my hair very close to theirs yeah you know that's true yeah you do that type of hairstyles you look I do. you look like karen Red Dead, Karen. I look like Karen. Yeah, you look like Karen. You remind me of Karen, which is why I love Karen. Oh, shit. Do it. He's gonna shoot Brad Pitt. Yeah. He lost a lot of weight, that one dude. Who? Who? Which dude? Delta 8 not working. Welcome to arthritis. You're in pain. I am yeah, in Delta pain. Yeah, not working. That's true. Take more gummies. Oh, uh, no. Uh, I'm waiting. I'm waiting for the CBD to kick in. Okay. Can I get it? Can I get a puff? Yes. I love you. The pins are dull. I'll just puff more. Mm -hmm. Vampire list that. Ooh, let's start. Is that Tom Cruise? Man, Tom back, Cruise back when I was a, <laughs> back when I was a goth girl, I, I would have done anything for him to bite my neck. Holy shit! Wow. Yeah. You like blood. I loved Brad Pitt. Okay. I was very much into the Brad Pitt. Brad Pitt is Lestat. I thought Lestat was uh, 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 Tom Cruise. Oh look, there's there's Tom Cruise. Yeah. Get him. Oh. Oh, he's flying. Yeah. And Brad Pitt's like, I love you. Yeah, pretty much. Oh. Ooh. Tom Cruise makes good movies, though. Let's just Tom be honest. <laughs> I love Tom Cruise. Yeah, I do too, man. He's Weirdo in real life. I don't know. I don't think so. He's a patriot minder. Was I a goth? Holy shit. You was have, I a goth? You don't have any proof for that, though, because you don't have any pictures of yourself. Oh, my God. I was so goth. I would have loved to see that, you know? That'd be cute. Yeah, well, when you have a psycho mom who likes to burn pictures of you. Oh, my God. Wow. Wow, dude. I have a lot of pictures. I'm going to make a nice album. I hate her. My mom and dad. Stuff. She's a bitch. What a psycho, man. Yeah. Tom Cruise was. Wine has no taste. Christopher Lee was the best vampire. Okay. Hey, uh, that might be so. Willem Dafoe for me. Yeah, man. Willem Dafoe. Yeah, man. Playing Nosferatu. In Shadow of the Vampire. Great movie. That's my favorite vampire movie. <sighs> Do you want to eat me or not eat me? That is the question. Feed my life. Vampires are gross. Well, I think blood is pretty nasty. Yeah. Oh yeah, okay, it's raining. Thanks, Jody. Oh. Wow. oh yeah, I gotta do the fisherman thing, man. Fisherman thing. Yeah, I wanna look for a new freaking pole. Oh. Anyway. I was a very naughty girl back in the day. Oh my god, really? I was. Is that true? Yeah. Naughty, naughty. Like if you like me, it was a hit I probably would have. Would you show me your boobs back in the day? I want to show you my boobs. Really? Yeah. That's hot, man. I like that. You want to see my boobs now? No, you don't have to do that. I was just asking, like, if I asked for a picture from you back in the day, you would have done it. And, like, show, like, show me, like, like maybe an underwear picture or something. An underwear picture? Yeah, you know. Like, posing in underwear. I would have done that, yeah. That's awesome, man. That's awesome. Thank you. You're welcome. I appreciate that. Yep. Thank you. Here's your cucumber. Ew, I got a sea cucumber! Maybe. They're so gross. Anyway. Yellow stuff. God, he's sucking him dry, man. A sardine. I don't think I choose to be a vampire. That was painful to get like, there. having the need to harm other humans is not my way of life. Yeah, and you have to die, too. Yeah. You literally have to die. I got, got some red snapper.
we have here? Uranium rod. <sighs> well, let's see how much fish is. What did I, what did I earn the fishes? All right, we're gonna be work fishing until we get that a radium rod. That's what we're doing right now. Yep. Don't you love it? That I'm ignoring you trolls and deciding to go fishing? That's because I'm living life, bros. I'm living life through Stardew Valley. You can eat my asshole. 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 Swell that ton, swell that ton, you gotta swell that ton. Yeah, okay. I, I, I just invented a really cool freaking naughty freaking song. There we go. You know someone's gonna cut that shit. Yeah. <laughs> That'll be awesome. Give me credit at least. Like, what led to this song? Like, what were you talking about before you said the song? Like, what was the context of this song? Pootie Plot Pie knows who I am. I know he does. You might have to review it. That's awesome. Well, maybe he's not doing dirty stuff anymore. An albacore! Wait, let me, let me check something real quick. Oh, we need a tuna. Yeah, we need a tuna. Stop repeating me! A puffer. Oh. And a sturgeon. Let's see what we'll be getting. Another anchovy. You can put that on pizza. Seaweed. You can use that for uh, sushi. Tilapia. Mmm. Fish tacos, baby. With tilapia. Another tilapia. Ooh, sea cucumber! Are you going to sleep, bro? No, I'm not sleeping. I have to lay down for a bit because I have vertigo. Oh. The vertigo hit real bad. Right? I'm sorry. No, it's not your fault. It's no, not your my fault. nose has like been dripping like left and right. Yeah, I know. That's why it's hard to like want to do anything with your life. Yeah, I know. I'll be honest. Yeah. I have sinus pressure. Same. Real bad, yeah. You want me to get <laughs> offline? No, you don't have to do that. No. I totally will because you know what? You deserve some quiet. But I don't have. So I'm gonna get offline, folks. All right. I'm going. I'm going. You guys have a uh, good day. I'll be back probably later tonight while all the trolls go to sleep. I feel more comfortable then. Peace and Maranatha, my lovelies.